So let's put up our Heroes World Spotlight comic book for this week. And it is none other than the DC Black Label book called Wonder Woman History of the Amazons. And wow, what a gorgeous cover. Uh, this book is the oversized format for the Black Label uh, we've got Kelly Sue DeConnick writing with just breathtaking art by yeah. Phil Jimenez. Uh, Wonder Woman Historia, the Amazons. Just wow. Like, uh, yeah, Jesse, let's fire these up uh, full screen uh, while while we talk about, uh, about this book. Um, I got to say, um, I think DC, I don't want to say mismarketed this book, but they were not shouting this book from the rooftops. Uh, and they really should be. This book is fantastic. It's gorgeous. It's well written. Uh, it's moving. It's inspiring. Um, it is just super cool. The last time I was blown away by art um, and storytelling like this was way back with Alan Moore's Promethea. Um, and that was Alan Moore and J.H. Williams uh, III doing the art. And you can see it's almost very, very inspired by this. But what exactly is this book? This book is chronicling how the Amazons came to be. Uh, and what we're seeing here on this gorgeous panel are the different deities, the different gods, or sorry, goddesses. And uh, this story chronicles why they created the the amazons they 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 petitioned zeus because they're like the world of man we need to get rid of men because men in their violent ways have been mistreating and disrespecting women and there's no rhyme or reason for it and zeus basically says hey this is how they live they you know there's good and there's bad and these goddesses decide that answer is not good enough. So they are going to take matters into their own hands. Uh, yeah, just a, an amazing start and an amazing look at how these, the, the pantheon of gods look. Like, you know, you can see Zeus there uh, and he's, he's enormous and, and he's blue and he's got the, the horns. And you can see just the, the, the electricity. Man, it's just so good. Jesse, what did you think of uh, of this one? Oh, I loved it. Like the art is beautiful. The art, it, it, you gotta look at it. You're like it, there's so much detail in every little page that you see. Like, look at all the um, characters we got here. What are they called? The uh, goddess goddesses. Yep. Like there's, and they're all different. Um, I can't name them, but they all have attributes that. The gods would have right like the um like what's the wars one name i can't remember at the moment but she's at the very end she's got yeah, the uh, artemis sweet, artemis and, artemis yeah. and athena aphrodite hecate demeter yeah just just yes. everyone like you said the these are how we've never seen them look like this and then just look at the the classic um almost greek uh, art style that's along the border on the bottom. This this is just a masterpiece, you know. Uh, Phil Jimenez is, uh, you know, I think this is his tour de force right here. So yeah, it's, it's beautiful, like great value too. It was uh, how how big was that book? How many pages do you think offhand? Oh man, I'm not sure, but it took me quite a while to read it. This is one of those books that, like you said, there's so much to see. You read the words, and then you're just you just get lost in the images and the panels and, and, and stuff. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad they did this as an oversized format because you can just pawn over absolutely everything, you know? Um, yeah. I just, just loved it. And also I, I want to say that, you know, I've, I, I've read wonder woman for a long time. Uh, but you know, this history that they're weaving, was new to me and i found it just really intriguing um you know just seeing you know the machinations of what the what the realm of the gods are seeing how the goddesses you know they they basically went to the underworld to have this secret meeting like this 
this sisterhood where they they got together where no one else could find could find them and they and they have the dialogue they decide what to do and then just how cool was it that each one of them planted these quote unquote seeds yeah. in the earth that birthed the amazons and each of these goddesses had a tribe of five Amazons. And I think we've got yeah. some of those pictures to show you. But man, ev all of them just, yeah. So these are the 30 original Amazons, five for each of the goddesses. Um, but yeah, I've never seen them look like this. And it's just fantastic. Or man, if I haven't, I'm missing out. And I, but this was a great introduction to it uh, for me. Um, yeah, I just I just love it. And, and I got to say, like, you know, it brought me you know kind of like flashbacks of i really really enjoyed um the assassin's creed odyssey and stuff so seeing kind of that you know uh art style and and uh, and uh what reminded me of that game so again both of those things were beautiful uh you know the game was great but this yeah seeing greece and 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 uh seeing the gods look like that and hearing the names and stuff like that just really made me you know think back to it but yeah so here we go look at this you know the tribe of hestia and this is this is the back of the comic book so they kind of have like you know uh almost like um bonus features and stuff but yeah each each of the tribes have their own characteristics their own look and i love how the amazons aren't all portrayed with the same figure and the same yeah. attire and stuff like look at this the tribe of athena man that is just so epic like i said after seeing this i was just like man, i gotta fire up some assassin's creed odyssey and i actually picked cassandra as uh to, to go through the game so i'm like yeah maybe i gotta go and do some adventures uh as cassandra after seeing that because super cool it almost if you like art books it's almost worth it to just get it for the art oh 100 like it, it gives it really gives me the uh, god of war feels like it's a, i i don't know i caught myself looking at the pictures more than reading the words and just yes. getting lost in them right they, they they were beautiful yeah getting lost in the art there was yeah there was so much so much to see so much uh you know uh it's yeah this is like i said I think that not only is this like our comic book spotlight of the week, but like you said, so much bang for your buck, yeah. you know, and uh, sorry, I've just like, look at that. That is just wow. Like un unreal. So guys do yourself a favor. Don't sleep on that book. Even if you don't know anything about the Amazons, it's, it's not, you know, we haven't gotten to wonder woman or anything like that yet, but yeah, you know, we see Hippolyta, and man, it's just fantastic. So it's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, don't sleep on that. Trust us, you're gonna want that. That's our Heroes World comic book spotlight, Wonder Woman Historia, uh, on store shelves right now.